Good day, welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we look at Romans chapter 3, verse 24. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. The previous verse, Romans 3 and 23, told us that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But here the Apostle Paul is saying there is a remedy. And that remedy is the redemptive work of Jesus Christ. Where he shed his blood upon the cross of Calvary so that we can be redeemed from our sins. So we will see the word justified and we will see the word justification. This means uh, that the one who is guilty has been acquitted in the court of heaven. And this is done by grace, God's unmerited love and favor. We say grace is God's riches at Christ's expense because he was the one who paid the redemptive price. So here we are being redeemed because Jesus did that for us. He paid the ransom. Jesus paid it all. We sing so many times. All to him we owe. Our sins had left us with a crimson stain. But the blood of Jesus Christ washes us, cleanses us, make us as white as snow. So God has set forth. Yes, he appointed and he published or established this sacrifice in Jesus Christ, his one and only son. And Jesus did this at the cross when he was crucified he shed his blood and the shedding of that blood is for the remission the covering of our sins and this is the act of God whereby he becomes so gracious to the sinner through Jesus Christ God cannot declare any man righteous or remit anyone's sin without faith in the atonement hebrew 9 verse 22 faith in what jesus christ did for us and that he is lord and that he is savior ephesians 1 and verse 17 so we will see today man has sin but yes there is a remedy justification by grace and because it is by grace it means that we do not deserve it as we say grace is god's unmerited favor to man so as the scripture tells us romans 3 24 being justified freely by his grace so now the gospel tells how God justifies sinners as a free gift, as an act of unmerited favor because of his love. But what do we mean when we speak of the act of justifying? As we say, the word justify means to reckon or to declare to be righteous. For example, God pronounces a sinner to be righteous when that sinner believes on the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the way the word is most commonly used in the New Testament. However, a man can justify God. And you say, how do I justify God? Luke 7 verse 29, by believing and obeying God's word. So in other words, he declares God to be his righteous God. That God is his 
all in all in whatsoever such one does or says. And of course, a man can justify himself because we have seen that from time to time. We even see in the book of Job where Job's friend think that he was justifying himself because Job declared that he was a righteous man. But when we declare ourselves righteous, the Bible says that that is self-righteousness. St. Luke ten twenty nine, And this is a form of of deception so to justify means to actually make a person righteous we cannot make God righteous already he is righteous but we can declare him to be righteous God does not make the believer sinless or righteous in himself rather God puts his righteousness to that person's account so a popular definition of justification is when God through Jesus Christ washes away our sins or we say he remit them or he pardon them and declare the guilty sinner righteous is he is saying yes the blood that jesus christ shed upon the cross of calvary is a covering for all those sins that were committed and so such person stands before god as if that one has never sinned but we can also go further than that when God justifies the believing sinner he not only acquits him from guilt and clothe him with his own righteousness and thus make him absolutely fit for heaven it says when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ we are saved so justification goes beyond the acquittal to approval now God is approving that this person whose sin is covered by the blood of Jesus, this person's sin has been pardoned. So it goes now beyond pardon to promotion. So the sinner who is justified is now being approved proved by God and his promotion is that he will live and reign with Christ when we go to the court and uh, somebody is being acquitted from a charge it means that this person is set free from the charge justification means that uh, this is positive righteousness and this is approved by God because he is the one who imputed to the sinner so the reason God can declare ungodly sinners to be righteous is because of the Lord Jesus Christ the one who has fully paid the debt at of the sins of this guilty sinner the one who was supposed to die the ones whose place that he took and he died he was buried and he rose again so when sinners accept Jesus Christ by faith they are justified and so this morning as guilty sinners there is a remedy the wages of sin is death but if we accept the gift of God we obtain eternal life God justifies the guilty sinner washes his sin away and then he stands justify before God meaning he is before God is a sins covered with the blood of Jesus Christ just as if he has never sinned and as we remember 
justification by grace means we do not deserve this justification but God through Jesus Christ when we put our faith in him grants it to us God bless you you can today turn from sin to grace and accept this free gift and stand before God justified just as if you had not committed any sin thank you again for watching and may god bless you